Hello everyone, welcome to Home Cooking with me Hema Subramanian. Today I'm going to share a wonderful chicken recipe. This is Walnut Chicken Masala. Now this is a very unique, rich and creamy side dish and this can be enjoyed and savoured with some nice rice or roti by the side. So let's get started and check out the recipe. For the Walnut Chicken Masala, first I'm going to dry roast a few ingredients. For this take a pan, add 1 tablespoon of whole peppercorns small pieces of cinnamon too. First I'm going to roast this for about a minute. After a minute, add one tablespoon of chili flakes. Turn off the stove because you can see the pan is quite hot and the chili flakes can get burnt very quickly so you don't want that. Transfer it to another plate and keep it aside. To the pan, add half cup of walnuts and roast them for about 2 minutes on medium flame. Adding walnuts will transform this curry into a flavoursome and healthy dish. With flavours mild, creamy and a bit earthy, walnuts are a great addition to your daily meals. So now I've roasted all the ingredients for the masala, so make sure you cool it completely. Then transfer it to a mixer jar and grind it to a nice fine powder. To a pan, add about 2 tablespoons of oil, add 2 large onions finely chopped, saute the onions till they are a nice golden brown colour. So now you can see the onions have been sauteed to a lovely rich brown colour. Next add 1 heaped teaspoon of pound ginger and garlic. Next, add 4 medium sized tomatoes chopped. When the tomatoes are starting to get mushy, add 1 teaspoon of salt. So for this recipe, I've taken roughly about half kilo of fresh chicken with bone. You can also use boneless chicken if you like. Just mix the chicken pieces along with the onion and tomatoes. Next add 1 cup of water. Close the pan and cook for about 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, you can see the chicken is half cooked. At this point, add the ground walnut masala mix. Gently mix it along with all the chicken pieces. So after adding the masala, I'm going to add another cup of water. At this point, you can check for seasoning and if you do need to add a little bit of salt, you can add it. Close the pan and cook for another 15 minutes on medium flame. After 15 minutes, you can see the walnut chicken masala has come together so beautifully. The chicken pieces are cooked and the masala looks amazing. The oil has separated. So I'm going to finish off by adding a generous amount of coriander leaves. Now this is going to add a lot of flavour to the chicken masala. Mm. 
Once you've mixed the coriander leaves with the chicken curry, turn off the stove. Now serve the walnut chicken curry with some nice long grain rice or some nice Indian breads by the side. The walnut chicken masala looks so delicious and so tasty. Now this can be enjoyed with some nice long grain rice or some roti or naan by the side. And from the recipe you can see the ingredients are very simple but it's got a lot of flavour. So do try this recipe, enjoy and share it with your family and friends.